Hello and welcome to the tutorial on skip counting in eights. In this tutorial we will learn how to skip count in eights with numbers up to 80. So let's begin with our first example. Now suppose we have this number 24 and the question is what number comes after 24 if we are counting in eights? Now how do we do this? Well, there's more than one method. We could use the number line or the number grid. We're not going to do that. We could use the dot method, which we've used previously. Or what we can do is use arithmetic to count up to 10 and then subtract 2. For the first one, we're going to use the dot method. So we're counting in 8s, so let's draw 8 dots. What I'm going to do is I'm going to draw 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 4 underneath it. 5, 6, 7, 8. What number are we starting with? We're starting with 24. So let's start counting. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29, 30, 31, 32. The answer is 32. The number after 24, if we are counting in 8s, is 32. Now for our second example, we're going to use a slightly different method. This time we've got the number 56. And the question is, what number comes after 56 if we are counting in 8s? Now, as we said, there's more than one method. We're going to use a completely different method. We're going to use mental arithmetic. We're going to add 10 and subtract 2. I'm just going to change colors. Now, if we look at the 8 that we're working on here, counting in 8s, 8 is 10 minus 2. Now, we know that 8 is 10 minus 2. So what we can do, if you know your addition and subtraction very well, is to do this in two parts. Firstly, we can add 10, and then we can subtract 2. Now this looks a little bit long-winded. However, once you get the hang of this, you will begin to use this far more frequently than the dot method. So let's do this. I'm just going to change colors again. Right, we've got 56. Now the first part of the equation is 56 plus 10. 56 plus 10 is, we know that, it's 66. Just the 5 changes. The units do not change. And then we're going to subtract 2 from 66. 66, 65, 64. So we're taking away 2. The answer is 64. Now did you see how we did that? I'll just break it down here. We've got 56. Then what we did was we added 10. That made it 66. Then we subtracted 2. That made it 64. All we did was add 10 and minus 2. So you can use both methods. We're now going to look at one final example. Now let's suppose we've got this sequence. So we've got 32 and then a blank. 48 blank 64. We've got two blanks which we have to work out. And we know from the question that we are counting in eights. So what we're going to do here is, we're going to start at 32. Let's draw our arrow, let's draw a nice big arrow, towards the blank number. And what are we going to do? Well, we're going to use the arithmetic method. We're going to add 10 and then subtract 2. Add 10 and then subtract 2. 32 plus 10 is, remember, the 10s changes, the units doesn't. 32 plus 10 is 42. 
And now the second part, 42 minus 2 is... That's right, it is 40. The answer is 40. Let's look at the final one. We've got 48, and we have to work out the blank number. Now again, we're going to do the mental arithmetic. We're going to add 10, and then we're going to subtract 2. Our starting number is 48. Now don't forget, the unit doesn't change. 48 plus 10 is 58. And 58 minus 2 is 56. So the answer is 56. So we have learned two methods on how to count in eights with numbers up to 80.